you can see the achievement smart simple tap on the link okay so now it's time to activate our account you can see i've seen so many people asking if they can use phone to apply for this scholarship yes you can it's phone i'm actually using now or you can as well use your laptop or your tablet anyone all that is required your documents just um and put them in pdf scan first then put in pdf file and then send to your email from your email you download into your phone so that you can just easily upload it so now i want to choose the password for our account that's the next step so let me devise a password now um let me use remember see the requirements for you to get your password it must be eight at least eight characters and at least one lower case and at least one upper case and the password must have at least one number as you are putting in this password if you pass any of this you see that it will turn to uh, green instead of red so let's get a password we can use this mm. see I've gotten three of the requirements then mm -hmm. So repeat it again. I think there is a mix up. So let's get this sorted out let me do it again Fair. okay let me change it let me change it to mm. whichever password you are choosing write it down write it down so you will not forget because once you've used your email to register your account you can do it again with that same email so write it down I don't know. Okay, see, all four has ticked. It's now showing green, showing that my password now is in order. So write it down at this point so you not forget. Don't just save it in your phone alone. Write it down. So we we'll tap on submit. submit and here we are here we are mm. let me see hmm. 
So here we are. Type so everything you've uh, typed already, you can see it clearly. Then you can continue from here. You can put the ones you've not done already. Remember that you have to check these things again before you tap on submit, as it will be difficult for you to change these details after after you've submitted this your contact info it will be hard for you to change the details so ensure that you check through to be sure that everything inputted here is correct okay so additional email if you want put your telephone number i will suggest you put your additional email anyway uh, name you prefer to be called you can just still type your name or better say you leave it the way it is okay then additional email puts another email just in case any of the correspondence coming from Chivney doesn't get to your main email at least your second email will receive it so put your additional email then your telephone number put your telephone number very important although it is not compulsory because there's no red asterisk there but i'll still suggest you put it then your address see the first one i did my first address i put is already reflecting there so you now fill in the remaining details state province region let's go back put our province or region or state whatever it is called in your own area mine is a state so i put my state there then date of birth 1989 Let's search for 1989 first search for the year first 19 and it's in here. Here it is December. Tap on the month, then you look for the dates. The date is 25th, 25th December mm -hmm. 1989. Then you have to do the confirmation of your date of birth in the next box. Do it the same thing 1989. Search for the year first 1989. Tap on it December, December 25th. Here we go. By the time you submit this, the application um, system it will automatically say, uh, calculate your age and then put the real your age there in this next one under the date of birth confirmation so look for the country of citizenship where is your country of citizenship very important tap on it then you will be asked do you hold dual citizenship so if you have a dual citizenship different countries you can tap yes but ensure that your dual your second citizenship shouldn't be british citizenship else you're not gonna continue this application okay it will clearly tell you that you do not qualify you are not suitable so if you have british citizenship as your second citizenship don't even bother applying so do you hold dual citizenship i don't have so i say no what is my country or territory of birth i'll come and search for nigeria in my case it's nigeria okay nigeria then state province region of birth region of birth or your state your province mine is 
reverse it so after putting in all these duties still come down come back scroll up check that you're not making any mistake because to change this thing will take a very long process so if finally you accepted um, for the scholarship it will take a long process to change these details so just ensure that you are doing the right thing don't feel don't be fast to tap on submit so you see validate profile tap on validate profile you see first validate profile good after saving come back again and tap on that validate profile and here we are uh, the profile has already been created contact profile completed so this is the first stage for this application okay first thing is to create an account activate it put in your contact details and then you tap on click here to view your home page so we are through with the first step which is to fill in your details here we are you can see in progress application that's to say that your application have not yet started you just only finished the first stage so the next stage will go into you tap on it will be questionnaire to test whether you actually qualify to apply for this um, scholarship so tap on available open awards or you click on it if you are using your laptop you can just click on it okay so you check here you see list of awards that is available for your country now for nigeria there are two but it's the first one the nigerian achievement scholarship i want so i'll tap on that small box by the left then you open the info it's the same info you already know about the scholarship but you can just open and still read through um, in this info it's it specified the deadline and that the deadline to uh okay deadline to submit your reference or your references rather will be on the 20th of february next year 2024 okay by 12 so you just have to you already know that put that at the back of your mind okay remember that this scholarship is ending on the 7th of november which is tuesday 7th november so you don't need to rush take your time to apply for this okay i'm doing this abc guide so that you know what you are doing because i've discovered that so many people as well do not know how to start the application so tap on this apply button it will take you to the application page where you see eligibility questionnaires you have to be very honest answer these questions honestly because this will either close up this application for you right now or not so read through don't rush to answer so the first question there is are you a citizen of a children eligible country territory you tap on yes okay now how you will know if your country is eligible you see from the list on the children website that we started with in the first video of this application itself you see that there is drop down of countries if you look through it you can't find your country it means that your country is not eligible or if your country is there that yes your country is eligible and that's why you are even here that's why you've even been taken to this stage 
so you have to be sure that you are actually um, using your country okay okay so tap on yes then the next one will you return to the country or territory will you go back to your country after your study this is very compulsory very very compulsory it's part of the policy requirement you have to sign that you will and ensure that you go back you can't stay back after your course you are going back to so tap on yes then it says do you have an undergraduate degree that will enable you to gain entry to a postgraduate program at a uk university like 2.21 okay you say yes the essence of asking this question is not because Chivning itself really wants your two two one that's your upper second class is because the average uk universities that's usually their requirement although there are some other universities that accept a third class that's why i said doing your research on your uk university is very important so that you know the requirements the academic requirements and everything before you start any application to any uk university so they are just only giving you a preamble of what the universities will usually request for, which is two one. There are other universities that accept um second class lower. There are other universities too that even accepts um third class. There are other universities that accepts H N D. There are many UK universities that accepts H N D as well. So after I'll do a video showing so many uk universities and that accepts different grades okay so let's continue do you have the minimum work experience as stated below i already made a video on this work experience calculation so it's up on yes go back and search for that video and watch it. it's very very helpful are you at least 18 years of age you tap on yes not no yes because for you to even start this application you should be 18 and above will you have completed your undergraduate degree for the date of submitting this application yes because you will definitely need your documents so you tap on yes are you applying for a scholarship for a course of study commencing in the uk in 2024 autumn 2024 that period of time is usually September or October. You see, they are still reminding you. It should be between September and October. That is the autumn theme 2024. So you tap on submit. Now we are submitting these details. Our eligibility questionnaire. Okay. Then we come to the pre-screen questionnaire. Do you aspire to be or are you already a leader, decision maker? Remember, Chivney Scholarship needs leaders. So it's up on yes. Are you a British citizen? Please oh, be very careful when you get to this point before you make mistake. Because if you are a British citizen and you tap, you, you tap yes, you cannot apply for this scholarship. So go on, go to no, just tap on no. Have you previously studied in the UK with funding from a UK government? Quickly tap on no because if you put yes, you can't apply. Have you been employed in a permanent, temporary, or internship role by the UK government, British Council, or Association of Commonwealth Universities? Tap no. But if you've been, if you've been to uh, you, you you have worked there before you can you you are free but you still tap no the bottom line is have you worked for the uk government before british council or association of commonwealth universities all these are not eligible so you tap on no have any of your relatives been employed by the above organization since july 2021 no None of my relatives have been employed by the UK government. Then you tap submit, submit pre screen. 
okay submit pre-screen remember always go through these things before you finally submit very important so here comes the application proper okay the first one is the background see all the details you used before they are all there so prefer preferred interview location what's your preferred interview location let me see we have abuja okay so you go down the next one is your education you have to give details of your previous educational degrees and school okay you tap on add education details then they will ask you remember when putting your education degrees it's suggested that your most recent put your most recent first okay your most recent degree or study so you are asked is this an undergraduate or a postgraduate a postgraduate what is the country territory of study you look for your country okay mm. yeah then tap confirm country territory of study then the next thing will be to put the name of the university we've put the other two details name of university is so you scroll down you see list of universities in your country then you choose one let me look for my school mm. then the date you started the course and put the date you started the course mm. september 18 and say 2018 on 20th 2018 now then this date to the date you finish the course um, august 2019 as a one year course 2019 remember you don't have to follow my my what i'm putting here put your own details of your school okay okay so that's it then the degree type tap on it and choose the one that is most appropriate to you okay i can say graduate diploma or anyone accountancy then you you specify the course you did okay specify the course course title accountancy then your result skill here is another place most people find confusing now there are different skills different countries have different skills same as different universities have different skill now in the skill where you were graded in that school that you are trying to input the details is it done on 0 to 10 is it done from 0 to 20 
is it zero to hundred like hundred percent is it from one to five to five scale of one to five like my school that's where my school falls or is it five to you just just choose the one that is most appropriate to you okay if you also cannot find the one you want you can tap on order then you'll be allowed to input the grading system there or is it fail to a plus or fail to pass distinction a b c you should know how your school system was graded okay i tap on this one to five then you now specify your own course your own grade rather my grade 4.5 okay then you tap on submit mm. tap on submit okay so it's been submitted you can see it appear here it will appear here if i refresh this page it will appear here all the details given will just appear here so just keep doing keep doing tap if if you if you have about three di different degrees okay you can tap you just keep tapping put all the details required of you do the same thing that we did remember all these are your previous education or the current one you just having now that you're about to finish before the end of this scholarship you can also include that one if you've gotten the your results already so these are the basic um these are the thing all the items that will be in the background that's the first one background of this uh, application system itself don't forget the first one is to activate open an account and activate it put in your details then the next one is questionnaire your eligibility questionnaire and pre-screen questions then this one your background your educational your contact details your educational uh, qualification then you go down to the work experience see the work experience say are you currently employed in full or part-time work or a voluntary internship tap on yes because it's a requirement it's either you are working um for me i'm working but if you are not working you are no longer working but you were working before you can tap on no and then a box will be open for you to specify the current situation the current employment you are or the project you are running now that makes you not to be in employment at this time or in my case i'm working so i tap on yes okay then you tap on add work experience work experience could be uh we already discussed that in our previous videos you can go through all of them the first thing there is to tap type in your employer organization name okay ministry of education then your job title position held okay you can type yeah okay so your job title now 
administrative you can just put administrative anyone administrative staff then type tap on confirm job title then you state the date you started to the date you ended now please note if you have worked if you are still working currently working the date to just leave it as it is the you can see the date today is when the scholarship will end so the panel once they see this 7th 11 of this year that 7th of november they know that you are currently working so you just leave that particular date when the scholarship will end you can only just alter the date from so you type in when you started this job let's say you started this job in 20 20 2020 no let me see 2012 or 2013 let me see okay you tap on your dates she's automatically saved then you mention how many hours you've been working how many hours have you been working per week okay like my previous video if you work from let's say you start working from seven to two 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. That should give us 7 hours. Not so. Yeah, it is. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. That's 7 hours. You work 7 hours per day. And you're working 5 days per week. 5 days per week. So 7 times 5 will give us 35 hours. You see that it falls within that range expected or the required range of 35 to 60 hours per week. If you just put in the right hours, everything will fall in place. But if you know you have different jobs, sit down, go through that video, watch it again. Take your time, take your pen and your paper, calculate the hours, total hours you worked in each job okay calculate them in each jobs and as you calculate it go through it then you compile all of them that's if you work in different jobs and you are compiling all of them to meet up the hour requirement for this scholarship sit down write them out the days the hours you work per day and the total hours per week then calculate all of them and ensure that it is within this range of 35 to 60 hours per week okay so the total will be calculated once you can you click submit do not ask you what type of employment is it is full-time employment part-time voluntary mine is full-time employment so tap on full-time employment very brief summary of your responsibility there at this time at this point you type in the duties you perform your responsibility and that's your job okay just type give a brief rundown all these things i'm doing just to show uh, for this video okay so put your details the kind of job you do how about the sector is it a private sector or public sector mine is a public sector so i tap on submit you have to go through all of this and show that you you are getting it right so i tap on submit submission successful employment id good does not yet enter so let's refresh refresh this page let's refresh this page anyway 
let's leave it um by the time you log in definitely it will show so both the, the educational requirements um, I mean educational qualification and your work experience have been inputted but if you know that you have different different jobs different different jobs that you are compiling to meet up the hour each of these times after filling each of the details come back here again and type hard work experience you put it for as much as well remember that before you start to input it you have sat down to calculate it each of these jobs how many hours within the time you were working how many hours you worked for each of them ensure that it does not exceed the 60 weekly hour work experience and ensure that it is not less than please refer to my video of that video one of the videos i did on how to calculate your working experience okay so each of these times you come here fill in the details and then you submit just like you did ensure that you are not making any mistake ensure that you have calculated it if you do not still understand it you let me know in the comment section so this is all about the background we'll continue the video in starting from the second one which is the essay questions then application information terms and condition so i took my time to explain these ones because these ones too especially the work experience part can jeopardize your chance of getting the scholarship please you just be booted out from the first stage if you do not meet up the requirement and you wouldn't you might just innocently not meet up their requirement if you do not know what you are doing so it's very important that you watch these videos thank you for watching like share and subscribe and ensure that you watch out for my channel because I will post the other video which will finalize this application proper. Thank you.